Good afternoon, y'all. How is everyone feeling out there? All, like, two people who are watching this at god knows what time it is in the afternoon, when everyone should probably be doing something far more productive than this. So, I figured we'd do a little bit of Death Watch, considering this is the thing that I've been playing lately, because why not? It just, this is how this channel works. Whatever I happen to be playing, that's what you get streamed. So, what, what is the Death Watch, the Tyranid Invasion thing? Well, it's an interesting one. Um, pretty good thus far, I've got to say. Um, I do enjoy the uh, system that they've got for it. Um, it. It's quite an interesting one. It's basically a card game attached to a mediocre, slightly XCOM-based thing. It's, uh, it's interesting. Uh, do let me know if the volume uh, of the game is appropriate. I can't actually change the uh, audio in the game because it's an iOS port, so I have to do it manually on OBS. It's a little little awkward, but I think it's working. So you get Marines, who are your, your cards, as you can see. They all come in uh, different ranks, so you've got uh, basic level dudes, uh, veterans, champions, and then there are level 4 guys as well. Don't have any of them yet different classes, because of course you do, you have a uh, Assault Tactical Devastator, and you get this uh, quite neat little loot system here, uh, whereby you get different cards which represent uh, different forms of equipment, which you can obviously put onto all of your guys, so the differences in loadout, as you can see, are really quite, quite varied. So we've got a guy here, Power Sword and a Melter Pistol, we've got a guy here, uh, Power Axe and a Plasma Pistol, Chainsword and Bolt Pistol, yes I have a lot of Assault Marines for some reason. Game is loud, ugh. There we go, we'll, uh, we'll drop it down that low, that should be better. So, we've got all of that going on, uh, good variety of Tactical Marines, what with Bolters, Plasma Guns everywhere, I finally got three Devastators, which is wonderful. Uh, not that I've found them to be very useful on account of them being not thoroughly very mobile. Uh, but, well, that's kind of their role. So, I've got to admit, I love the, uh, the system uh, of giving you all of this customization, all of these uh, different uh, items that you can get here, and you can skill up all of these really awesome traits and abilities, which seem to be largely unique to each Marine, unless you get the same card twice. Like, I've got two of these... Uh, level 3 Blood Angel Champions, and we've got five abilities there. Uh, pretty cool. So, you can see, obviously, the lower level guys, they don't get as much. Uh, higher level guys, they've got a lot more growth potential later on, which is pretty cool, but obviously, you get them later, so they're less experienced, so they start weaker, but they, they have that extra progression to it, which I really like. I just kind of wish that the game was a little better, I'll show you what I mean when we get into it. It's it's quite a simple one. I hit a massive difficulty spike uh, not all that long ago, so I've been kind of farming one of these uh, maps down here, one of these earlier maps, which I might do another thing of just to sort of show you the uh, just how generally awesome it is uh, to get some farming done. Uh, who do I want to level, though? That's kind of the hardest question. Not really sure. We don't really need all of our Devastators. I might uh, try and level up some of our Assault Marines or something, or maybe just go for like a full tactical squad run and level them up. Or I could try and continue the campaign. Should maybe try and continue the campaign, probably. Actually see if my, uh, my power leveling strategy has worked. We definitely don't want to be fielding so many Devastators. I found these two guys work quite well as a uh, pair, because they have this uh, very useful uh, ability on them, which means whenever they're standing next to each other, uh, they get 5% of their HP back, so as long as you keep those two people next to each other and at the front, they become pretty, pretty hard to kill, which is always nice. I'm probably going to want I don't know if I do want to take a Devastator Marine. The problem is, you, you don't know what the map's going to be like. If the map doesn't have, or if the map is lots of, like, narrow corridors with lots of turns, Devastators suck. 
but if you get a little open area then it's probably going to be okay but since this map said it's going to be in catacombs uh probably not the best thing to go uh taking a devastator squad into so i'll probably bring three tactical marines and my two higher level assault marines and we'll see what happens uh, worst case scenario is we lose and everyone loses all their xp so i should probably try and spend as much of it as i can uh, before we go in well, i think i pretty much maxed out the spending is this the guy i want to take yeah he's my good overwatch guy so i really want to bring him i don't think i can spend anything more on this guy nope and these two guys i think are maxed up already yeah okay they're gonna be fine he says, maybe. They might be okay, they might not be. We've started getting uh, enemies which aren't just Hormigants and Termigants now. We have a trace on the Servo Skull. However, the Tyranids have caught your scent. The team must split in two. Some to secure the objective and others to guard our exit. Oh, yay, great. Just what I always wanted. I guess we're sending the assault marines to secure the objective. So you can see the maps, they're not massive, because again, this is an iOS port. The problem is, enemies in this game have a wonderful habit of hiding around literally every single corner. So if this game has taught me anything, it is to advance very, very slowly and overwatch religiously. Kind of like playing Space Hulk. What a surprise. We'll set up uh, some overwatch kill zones around those areas. We should be okay. Other than that, we get out into here, we can uh, hopefully secure this area with our tactical marines and just send our assault marines in. Alright, let's see what happens. Mm, okay. This is another thing this game loves doing ridiculous choke points like this which will take you more than one turn to move through so you literally have no choice but to basically come out the other end with only a single action point left which really really sucks i definitely want you overwatching into that but hopefully if we do this we can come out into some cover here and we might not get totally jumped oh Delightful things are spawning behind here us. Of course they are. Fellow battle brothers, for the Emperor, for the Golden Throne. That's things I like in this game. This game has a lot of banter between the uh, Marines, which I actually really appreciate because sometimes they actually like sort of go at each other in not um, not sort of hateful ways, but there is a lot of the uh, competition between the chapters, which I do really approve of in this game it kind of reminds you that uh even though they are all on the same side there is still a little bit of uh competition between all of the chapters and i have a space wolf uh, in my lineup who basically is just a asshole to everyone That's why I don't like those narrow areas. It's basically you go through them, you will take damage. That was not what I wanted to do at all. I was trying to shoot that thing. Oh well. Hit it. Oh joy, I can't... A uh, Tyranid warrior. They are wonderful, aren't they? Move over there, smack it around a little bit, and... I said smack it around a little bit. Or, you know, fail and get counter-attack. That's fun as well, I guess. Yeah. Can you move to a place where you can shoot it? Probably not. That's really annoying. I want this thing dead. Eh, yeah, close enough, I guess.
and really weirdly, the game appears to have hung. That's interesting. It's actually never done that before. Or is that a YouTube thing? No, it's... It, that's weird. Hmm. Hey, there you go. Just counter-attack that thing to death. That's what I like to see. You shoot like an injured sarcat, boy. Less haste will increase your accuracy. Do not call me boy. Focus on your own targets, and when your skill matches mine, we can talk. See, I love those little, those little bits that just reminds you that some of the space marine chapters aren't too fond of each other. It just it puts so much extra flavor into the world. Yes, characters can be renamed. Will I bother doing it? Probably not. Because then I'll forget who everyone is, because everyone has, like, unique abilities. Why do I get a feeling that there's probably a lot of stuff behind me and a lot of stuff in here? Just because this area didn't have a whole lot of things in it. I just, I, I got that feel, chat. run past and have a little, you know, peek around the corner. And get ready to move through the obnoxious choke point, so whoever goes on the other side of this will inevitably take a ton of damage. Oh look, there's a Tyranid Warrior over there, that's gonna be fun. Everyone loves Tyranid Warriors, they're great. Okay, well, let's advance into some cover and discover... I'm very suspicious. There's really not a whole lot of things in this level thus far. And that's... that makes me suspicious. Like, I just... I highly suspect that something bad is going to happen. Overwatch in that direction. Yes. Okay. I'm not sure if that's a hole in the floor or something on there. I, I think it's. Oh no, it's a hole in the floor. Okay, you're about to get shot repeatedly. Um, unless I can have him shoot at everything he can see. So let's. Do that. Numbers a little bit, maybe. Oh, you did some damage. The game is the game audio too low or just the audio in general chat. These are things I can fix, but um it's annoying because this game doesn't have options to do it separately, so I have to do it all in uh gotta do it all in OBS and sheet. Hmm. Yeah, you can just be fine. Oh, volume's fine after turning up the volume from 50 to 100 on you. Yeah, just actually listening to... Uh, actually putting up the audio to where it's supposed to be is helpful. Uh, can you not shoot that thing in the face? No. Not liking our inability of seeing these Tyranid warriors. They're, they're being sneaky. I don't like it. This mission has been going far too smoothly compared to the like two missions before this, which were really difficult by comparison to this. I don't trust it. Some would say that I'm being paranoid. Others would say that I'm being realistic. I'm, 
I'm waiting for the walk around the corner and something just awful comes at me. Because that's normally how this works. I, I'm hearing things. Yeah. There we go. There's the, the stuff from behind that no one wanted. Start racking up because I don't think these guys are going to be going through uh, through here. Mic audio is quiet. I can boost that a little bit. That should be a bit better now. Uh, maybe. Trying to look at the uh, thing. Waves. Yeah, that, that looks like it might be a bit better. Maybe. Uh, something around there. We'll try it. It might work. Yeah, it's probably going to be odd on this stream because, like I said, I can't balance the game beforehand because it has no uh, audio options actually in the game, which is really bad, but uh, it's kind of annoying. Hit it! Hit it in the face! Actually, hit it. Stop missing it. Would you like to shoot that thing? Do it. I'm just... I seem to recall there being a Tyranid Warrior over there somewhere. I'm just slightly paranoid that it's gonna... Like, do it. Hmm. This is going... Far smoother than I anticipated it. Maybe the power leveling, leveling really did make a difference. I don't know. But my suspicion is still high. It is true, chat. All of my buttons are analog on the digital interface for the, the computer and the all of the digital sliders <laughs> that are on the the digital soundboard that I use. It's it's true. There we go. There's something we can shoot repeatedly. Can you get it from there? You can, good. This... this is going way too smooth. What happened to the difficulty spike that was happening? Come on, game, you're... You're making me very suspicious. Like, I'm just expecting I'm gonna go through this gap here and there's gonna be, like, a con effects or something. That's just like, oh, hey! How are you? I'm good. Now, of course, you've got to hit the guy that can't counter-attack. Absolute Xeno scum. Okay, let's move forward and find this entire room full of everything. No? 
Ah. We located a gene stealer. And then we murdered it. Okay, I was expecting this room to have, like, filled up with stuff. The button you have labelled audio is actually difficulty. Perhaps, but if I turned that up, then this game should have become harder. Like I said, the previous two missions were a lot harder than this. But then, you know, I did do the leveling thing, so... It is possible the game did just want to make me paranoid. It's something 40k games like to do, it's like, oh, by the way, you know you're gonna die horribly. Like, just at some point. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but at some point while playing this game, you will die horribly. There we go, we're spawning the dudes now, great. I noticed there's only three exit points though, so I don't know exactly how this is going to work. I guess it's just return the one servo skull, like he just has to get into one of those squares, so... I might as well... Um, move everyone up, see if we can uh, pick off this gene stealer for the XP. No, can we not do that? Okay, screw it. It's always good to try to grab a little bit extra XP whenever you can. Even though I've got a pretty good farming setup available on another mission. Did it, chat. Look at that. We won the game. We're so good. Just so little XP. And we get another med pack. Great. I've never needed to equip one of those, ever. I have one Assault Marine who's really useful to take. Um, whenever he kills anything, he heals all of my guys by 2%. Try and figure out how that works technologically wise. This guy, he's pretty cool. Uh, which ability is it? This one? No. This one? There you go. Killing an enemy. Killing and enemy. Because, of course, uh, heals all your space marines for 2%. I, I love the models in this game. They just look so damn good. Look at that. Gorgeous models. They are great. Just awesome. Look at it. Looks so freaking cool. Like I said, the game is pretty simple, but I love the models. I love the detailing on the models. I love this, uh, all, all of this. Like, everything about this. Everything about the, uh, uh, inventory card system. Everything about the, how you can customize and put the stats into your dudes. That is just all great. It's just a shame that the game is kind of, uh, Kind of a stripped down XCOM. Like, I kind of wish they'd do like Death Watch 2, but just make it like a proper PC game. So it's like, oh, you actually have like a cover system and uh, things like that. I think that would be great. We have the Servo Skull, but a large Tyranid creature is stalking them. Is this going to be our. Our suddenly carnifex or something. It looks like a Dawn of War model. No, it doesn't. These look. These have way more detail on them than the Dawn of War models. These just look so much better. Now, if we're still going to be in catacombs, probably still want to be keeping the assault dudes. I don't know whether I want to swap out one for this uh, other guy here. Because he's pretty useful. Hmm, I don't know. Although it's talking about there being a big thing, so I might actually want to bring a Devastator Marine, but... In between a Plasma Gun and a Melter Gun, we can do quite a lot of damage to large things. Uh, maybe I will bring a Devastator just for funsies. Uh, where is my... I think my Ultramarine uh, Devastator is pretty much the best one I've got going at the moment. Just because of that, really, extra damage with bolt guns. 
What's uh, his war gear as well? That's bonus damage at less than 50% HP. We should probably bring him along, and I might swap this guy out for my uh, healing guy. My, what is he, uh, Dark Templar? No, not Dark Templar. Uh, Black Templar? I want to say Black Templar for the chapter. It's been so long since I paid attention to most things like that. But yeah, I think I think we'll uh, we'll go with this just because it's mentioned something big and scary. Uh, do you have anything that we want? Uh, probably upgrade your accuracy. Actually, get you right up to one hundred percent if we can. Ninety-eight uh, percent is fine. Have I spent hours on their color schemes? No, they're randomly generated. This is why I really like the um, amount of detail on them. Like you, like they've all got their own individual sigils and things like that. Like you noticed. Um... Oh, okay. We've got to go all the way back. Um, but yeah, like you notice the um... uh, these assault marines, the uh, Blood Angel assault marines. They've got the uh, iron halo there around the head. Well, the same level of the Ultramarines ones has the um, like the Roman style. Uh, furry one, fluffy one, brush one, I don't know what it is. Uh, but yeah, like, they, they've got all of those little extra details on it. I love that. I just think that's so, so cool. Like, the art department who did this game absolutely fucking nailed it. I just think that it's kind of a shame that the actual game development side was a bit weak, but the art department that did this game, just, they, they got it. They absolutely nailed the aesthetics of the Marines. And like I said, they got they got all the little banter between the chapters and whatnot, and they actually mention specific things about their home worlds and whatnot, which is great. No, I am not playing this game with my Space Marine voice mod. I am very slightly tempted to uh, play Deathwing, uh, and do that with the the voice mod just turned on all the time and just annoy the ever-loving shit out of my team. Ah, there's our Carnifex. Great. This is going to be fun. Well, glad I bought this thing. Uh, maybe we should use the really big, amazing, shooty thing that does extra damage and accuracy and shit. 4,000 HP, eh? Yeah, let's, uh, give you that bonus, um, and shoot the ever-loving crap out of it. And do, like, zero <laughs> fucking damage. Okay. Yeah, so apparently this is the boss fight. <laughs> Or something. Yay. Uh. Okay, yeah, I, th I think bringing an Assault Marine into this engagement was a mistake. <laughs> He's gonna get ripped in half by this thing. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Okay, um, that's fine. Uh, let's all get into cover and try and just kite the massive thing around. It should only get four action points a turn, like everything else, so... Oh no, it gets six. Holy damn! Unsurprisingly, it hits like an absolute truck. It also looks like it regenerated its health. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's move you back. Let's move you to there. Have you shoot at everything you can see. 
So you should go for that and take out one of those formigants, or ideally two of them. Just one? Okay. That's fine. Open up at that with your amazing melter gun skills. That's fine. I can't remember what kind of grenade that is. Hmm. I kind of... And I can't throw it there. Damn. Okay. I want to be further away from this thing because I don't want it to be using all of its action points to murder people. Let's uh, overcharge a shot on that. That should use all my action points. Oh, god damn it. Come on, dude. You had, like, throw a grenade at it. <laughs> If it's a flashbang, it's fine. If, uh, no, okay, it does damage. That's, that's great. Okay. Uh, thin out the numbers of these things. We don't need all this extra damage. And hopefully this guy will maybe deign to hit someone who doesn't have low HP. He's going to go straight for the guy with low HP, isn't he? No? Okay. Ooh! One shot kills. Wow. Get critted. Okay. Yeah. We uh we brought the wrong squad into this fight. Needed more plasma weapons and probably actually more heavy weapons. Although heavy weapons, they would lack the uh, maneuverability, so that might have been a problem. I don't know, hard to tell. So I think what we need to do is to... Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've lost this. Um, but now that I know what this... Uh, what this thing does. This is the first one I've ever encountered. Um, so now I know what it does. I now know who I need to bring. It's people that can reduce the action points of enemies. And probably bringing stun grenades. Like Nova grenades or whatnot. So that we can uh, basically remove all of its, uh, all of its action points. Because that's going to be the thing that uh, does that in. Basically just stun lock it to death. I think that's going to have to be the strategy. Go on, counter attack it. Yes. You're, you're amazing. You did it. Y you hit it. Now it's got eight action points, not six or seven. I wonder if it's uh, increasing them per turn. Let's see, just an experiment. Is it going to gain an extra one, or is it... No. No, oh well. Yeah, just continue ignoring this guy, it'll, it'll be great. He's, he's gonna be fine. Dude, you, you, you're great. Okay, just run around. You'll be, you'll be fine. I think you're about to die. It's just, just a thought which I've got. There we go. Okay. But now we know what that thing does, so we need to bring uh, war gear that will allow me to remove its action points. So, let's work on that. Uh, flash grenade. Reduces AP from the target. Yep, we're going to be bringing that. Uh, probably not... I'm not really sure if I want to bring a Devastator Marine. It could bring a lot of much-needed firepower. 
but it could also be a problem. What have you got, grenade-wise? Frags. Don't think we really need frags. Yeah, bring some Nova Grenades, because they can also remove action points. Yeah, I, I definitely think bringing an Assault Marine is not going to be the thing. I think, I think maybe extra tactical Marines. Although this guy does have a chance to uh, cripple it by removing AP, so maybe keep him in the lineup. And then bring this other tactical marine with us. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, that we definitely want to be keeping. We need extra damage at when it's below 50% HP. That's basically necessary. There's no other grenades. Uh, what are blind grenades? Okay, they also remove AP. Okay. So, we'll give this dude some blind grenades. And we'll dump him into the lineup instead of our assault marine. So, assault marine, bye-bye. You're not useful here at all. Uh, this guy, what's his accuracy? 80%, mm. What's, what is it with a plasma gun? 85. I think that might be useful. Though the problem is it can potentially overheat. Or we can bring a grav gun. Target loses 2 AP. That might actually work better. Because that's then a weapon that also, basically, by default, reduces its AP by 2. So, with that, we can potentially stun lock it, basically, forever. So, hopefully, between all of this, we should now be able to reduce its action points. Maybe not down to zero, but at least probably halve it, maybe, per turn, or get it lower than that. So, we'll see. We'll see. Kind of vexes, not we easy, but fun. Large on your Get to the and if we've learned anything, it is to uh, not move uh, the assault marine or the uh, devastator marine first. So, can we fucking murder it? Potentially. I mean, I could just run all the way around it and go to the extraction point and probably be fine, but I want to kill this thing. Like... Yeah, see, it only starts with four, then. Hmm. Oh, weird. I, I want to kill it. Like, it will amuse me so much more if we're actually able to just kill this thing. I think that's way more fun. Because why would I not want to kill this foul Xeno? I mean, come on, there's got to be, like, some sort of achievement or something for doing that. Right? You can overwatch and open up at that thing. It's got four action points at the moment, so it won't actually be able to move close enough to anyone here. See, exactly, Zera gets it. You'd be a bad marine if you didn't kill it. Exactly. And let's be honest, these guys are going in with, uh... Now it's got two extra. I don't understand how this thing's action points work. Like, I, I, I don't get it. It's weird. I should really be saving that 
grav gun just to spam on that thing. Right, you. Um, move back one. Uh, Nova grenade it like a badass. Or whatever kind of grenade it is that you've got. Blind grenade. See, it'd be great if when you put the thing over it, you could see. So now it's only got two action points. Um, okay. So that thing's only got two action points this turn now. Which means... We can actually... Start murdering it. Only showed them when it moved. Perhaps. Like, this is the thing. This uh, this is one of the gripes I have about this game. It is that the health bars rotate with the models. I would rather they always stayed, like, above the model with the pips on one side or something. So that they were easier to see. But go on. You, you take your two moves. Thank you. And now we're going to try and spam down the rest of your action points so you can't do anything. Can you hit it with a grenade from there? No. But you see, it's got five now. I, I'm really confused as to how this thing's action points work. I don't get it. Uh, we could use a blind grenade on it. I'm tempted to do that. Let's do it. I think that's the blind grenade anyway. Yeah, zero damage, but it will remove its action points. Okay, so it's only got three action points now. I'm going to be annoyed if I don't get, like, an achievement or something if I'm actually able to kill this thing. I do kind of doubt that I'm going to kill it, but, you know, I, I want it. I want it dead. Oh, hang on, what's this? Ah, of course. Minus two, minus one. There we go. That's what it is. Every two turns gain a permanent plus two AP. Now we understand the mechanic. Okay, so it's a passive thing. Every two turns it gains them. But that's fine, because we can just keep removing them. Maybe. You can still shoot it. Shoot it. Remove more action points. Ha ha ha! One action point. Come at me, bro. Yeah, what are you going to do now? Ooh, three action points. You're so scary. Ooh. I mean, it probably is going to be scary, because next turn it's going to go up to having, like, all of them. Maybe. He doesn't have any grenades to throw at it. Mm. I could have sworn I just saw on the screen there it said kill the Carnifex. Uh. Alright, let's thin out these guys so we don't get overrun. We do need this guy's action points to go down. Because otherwise he will be a problem. Is true, chat. The Cuddlefex has run into cover. Can you grenade it from there? We might need to move that guy. This is... Oh, come on! This is another thing that really annoys me about this game is uh, line of sight indicators. There we go. We've got it down to two action points now. Which does mean we still need to back off a bit. Get rid of that dude. Can you move into a place where you can shoot it and we can literally just stun lock it? Because that would be great. Like a Carnifex with no action points. That's what we need. Carnifex with zero action points. That's how it should be. Okay, now you just spam shoot that thing. St 
unlock it to death. Oh, it can only remove two per shot. Oh, that's a shame. I guess it would be overpowered if it did anything otherwise. You fully charge up your shot and go for it. There we go. Where's all your precious HP now, Mr. Carnifex? Where is it? You overwatch that way. You move up here and overwatch that way. You... Uh, one, two, three, four. They won't be able to hit these guys if they're over here. And then we just all overwatch and maybe it will die this turn, perhaps. Come on, run into the walls of fire. Good boy. That's what happens when you go into a fight prepared. <laughs> Preparation versus non-preparation. It makes a difference. So there we go, chat. We did it. We made the kill. <laughs> Low HP ability gained 2000 HP while health is below 25. Oh, I would be so sad if that was the case. But yeah, uh, big guys, stunlock them to death. They can't do anything. We just approached the mission with the wrong loadout first time. It is true, chat. Knowledge is half the battle. There is a there appears to be a giant bug on the map. Would you like to know more? Yes, yes I would. Because once I know that, that's when you can kill it. You just sprint up there and secure it. I don't think anything else is going to sp Oh no, things are still spawning. Okay. A mild annoyance. Uh, not the end of the world. Well, yeah, this was a fun mission. It's like the first boss fight I've had in this game. It was it's fun. It's nice to mix it up a little bit like that. Rather than just the same trash mobs over and over and over. It's true, chat. These aliens are being very well and truly liberated. For the Emperor! Alright, let's uh, get you guys out then. Did it. There you go, second try with a properly prepped squad. Victory is assured, ah ha ha ha. You better get a metric ton of XP for that. What? That's it? Alright, fine. Oh, you just, you, you killed the Carnifex? Oh, here you go, here's barely any XP and <laughs> a really crappy item. That's actually really effective against Carnifexes, as it turns out. But yay, we get to open packs now. Come on, give me a new interesting space marine of a really high level. That would be great. Hey, another, another assault marine. <sighs> Is that just the same thing again? <laughs> it is, isn't it? But you see, that's what I mean about the difference between the... Uh, Assault Marine for the uh, Ultramarines compared to the Blood Angels. You see, it's nice. Uh, do you have different things? Uh, yes, he's got the Battle Brother ability, which is nice. That, which is also nice. Extra damage, always nice. 
Uh, same ability as those guys, and melee damage mitigation. Okay, this guy could actually end up more tanky than the Blood Angel ones. What's your special abilities? Ooh, that's quite nice. And the same ability there. Okay, yeah, I'm. this game has basically just decided that I need to run assault squads and only assault squads and nothing but assault squads, like, forever. Because apparently I do. Like, it's it's forbidding me from ever assembling proper tactical and devastator squads. Like, hey, I heard you're not that fond of assault marines. Here's a load of assault marines. I might dismiss one of them, actually. Because I'm not really going to need them. This guy I like because of his abilities. He's like, he's very good at healing himself up, but he is a low level. Uh, this guy, eh, I've not been very impressed with this guy thus far. His abilities don't look too great. He's got a nice counter-attack ability and the potential for extra AP. Um, but he doesn't have the survivability of uh, the dudes who are able to heal themselves. Melee combat, the Emperor wills it. Apparently the Emperor really does will it. I should just be putting out five Assault Marines every single game, apparently. Just go for it. Maybe I will. Maybe I will do that. Just fun, just to deploy five Assault Marines and cry. As they all die horrendously. Now oh, we do have a second Mastercrafted Power Axe, which no one seems to be using. Probably give him that. And I think the accuracy isn't as good. What was it, 84? Yeah, the accuracy isn't great on those. But, you know, it gives him something a little better than that. And do we have any better... I do like the bolt pistols because of the range. But the extra damage of those melter pistols is, uh, is nice. Not gonna lie. I might just give him, give him a little melter pistol just for fun. Hmm. Now I'll just have to level up his accuracy for the, uh, for the axe. Well, I think these guys' accuracy is better, so maybe I should uh, give this dude the axe instead. Because he'll, he'll still have pretty good accuracy with it, and then that guy can just have the power sword. Although, what's the accuracy on that power sword? 50% uh, compared to the axe, which was 60. Wow, the power sword is actually worse than that power axe. I guess I could just leave him with a chain sword, to be fair. What's your accuracy? 82 with that. 90 with that. Those are fine. 84 with that. What's that? 60 and the power sword was 50. Hmm. I might leave them as they are. I could give it to Fangfist. He might be okay with it with the power sword. That guy's a dick, though, and I don't like fielding him, because he kind of sucks, like, ability-wise. Though he's got more growth potential than this uh, Silver Skull. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Ooh, a noon slaughter mission. This sounds fun. We must hold off an assault, okay? Take defensive positions. Okay, yeah, defensive positions. That doesn't sound like uh, assault squad territory. This sounds like uh, Devastator and Tactical Marine stuff. Maybe we'll uh, throw in our guy with the missile launcher. Other than that, we'll probably keep these dudes. I'm not a huge fan of plasma guns for holding a line, though, just because they've got the ability to overheat, which kind of sucks. But, yeah, if all we're doing is holding a line, I think these guys should do it fine. Kill team. The enemy is coming. 
Ready your weapons and remember your battle oaths. The fortress must hold. This day will be long and marked with blood. In before they spawn a freaking carnifex. Why do I have a feeling they might do that? Because all of these gaps are two squares. And this is also why I do think this game would benefit from a cover system. Where is the guy with the crack missile when you need to kill the Carnifex? Well, killing Carnifexes doesn't actually require brute strength. It requires uh, whittling down their action points until they're not able to do anything. And then small arms fire is more than enough. Big damage is nice, but opponents who can't move are even better. Mm. Yeah, get that down there. You cover that way. Yeah, I do basically just want XCOM with Warhammer voice lines. Got a problem with that? Does the tabletop version have a cover system? Yes, of course it does. Might as well just use that ability, shoot at everything you can see. There you go. That's a fun ability to use because it kills everything. Missile launchers are fun in this game. That's all I'm going to say about them. Warhammer is kind of protected by licensing, but there are Warhammer mods for XCOM. You can find them, it's just that it's normally things like, oh, here's a bolt gun or a Space Marine helmet or things like that. I've not seen someone go into full... Uh, you know, like, full mod everything mode to have proper Space Marine voices and full gear and replace the aliens with Tyranids and whatnot. Which I really think someone should do because it would be great. Can't you shoot that thing from there? Has your weapon overheated? Doesn't look like it. You've still got one action point. No, you're just determined to not be able to shoot that thing for some reason. Oh well. Not exactly the end of the world. A mild annoyance. You can't shoot those guys from there. We can overwatch in preparation for them, though. You should absolutely be able to overwatch. Oh, no, you can't, because, of course, you've got three action points to shoot the thing. Dur -dur 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 -dur. Oh, it's one of those things. I hate those things. Those things really suck. 
those are the things that if you start your turn standing in front of it, they shoot you with this awesome huge gun that literally murders everything. And they suck as a result. Fortunately, they can't move and shoot it, so not really a problem. It's just a case of if it's facing you, you need to get the hell out of the way. Wow, that gene stealer really likes soaking up melter guns to the face. Okay. So we're definitely going to need to move the heavy bolter. I don't think that can shoot him from there. We'll soon find out. We can't move into a flanking position. We can try. Move up to get some flank shots on that thing. Can't throw a grenade at it either. You're not close enough. Damn it. Mm. I could move him out there and black rage it, but uh, then he'll get shot by that next turn, and we want to avoid that. You'll definitely be in cover if you move to there. Gene Stealers, surprisingly good at taking damage, apparently. Hopefully that thing won't be able to just shoot my rocket launcher. What? I don't understand. I'm pretty sure the rule for those was if it was facing you. Apparently I have been deceived. The Black Rage is delightful. It makes your... Blood Angel attack everything it can see, including your own dudes. It's jolly good fun like that. Charge up. Yes, shoot it with all of your action points because that thing needs to die. There we go. And overwatch in that general direction. Can you crit this one to death? That would be great if you could. Wonderful. And you can just overwatch in that general direction and murder something that moves. I think I'm going to have my Bolter dude do his awesome ability where he just shoots everything. Like this turn, because I think he kind of needs to. As long as he doesn't die to that freaking Biovore. Yeah, you need to do your thing, Broseph. Kill everything you can see. Literally everything. Not these ones, though. Things over here, yes, but not over there for some reason. Because, you know, that would be very convenient for him to do that.
I might try a stun grenade on one of those big things and see if it stops them being able to use their super duper charged ridiculous ability of murder. Because I'm not sure if it takes all of their, if it's like all their action points or if it's four specifically. We're not going to be able to kill that thing in one turn. Use your amazing buff ability and then shoot it. You did it. Now hide from it because it will kill you. You are not going to be able to move and shoot and then get into cover, so that's going to be an annoyance. Overwatch in that general direction, you might be able to shoot something, maybe. Perhaps. There you go, just like that. You did it. Proud of you. Now where's the big guy? Where is he? There he is! Shoot him in the face. Now run away. Can you throw a grenade at him from there? Yes, that is a thing you should do. Take away his action points so he can't do anything. I'm pretty sure he's got no action points now. And he's freaking dead. That's great. We did it. Apart from our one guy who got unceremoniously murdered by a biovore, which is a little bit embarrassing, but I don't really care. He's like the lowest level guy, so kind of hard to give a shit. But we did it. I can also get another pack of stuff, which is really good. Come on, give me a space marine that isn't an assault marine. <laughs> oh, fuck you, game. All day, every day, level three assault marines everywhere. I mean, I am going to be able to field the most dangerous assault marine squad known to man, but come on. Come on. Ugh. I mean, I guess I could uh, drop off these two basically worthless assault marines now that I've got all of these guys. No, I'm not in top chat. I'm in live chat, chat. Get your shit together. So yeah, I, I think I need to be playing more Assault Marines because this game will not stop giving me the, the hint. God damn it. Obviously, they wanted you to play Space Wolves. Well, why are they giving me Ultramarines, then? Like, what have we got? Uh, three, four, five, six Ultramarines? Yeah, six Ultramarines. What, three Blood Angels? One Space Wolf? That's it. It's just... It's a sad, sad time. See, we... We did have uh, some other... Space Wolves. I did get a, um... Was he an Assault Marine? No, I'm pretty sure, yeah. I got a Tactical Marine who I dismissed because he was useless. Like, served no real purpose. But, yeah, no, apparently this game, this game is like, hey, I heard you don't like Assault Marines. Here's another Assault Marine, faggot. <sighs> oh, well. I guess I should probably work on grinding these guys up level-wise. Just field 
uh, both of them somewhere and put them in with like uh, the rest of a tactical squad and put them in uh, put them into one of the lowdown missions where we can just endlessly grind and get them all of the XP. Anyway, we've been going for what, a little over an hour, so I think that might be uh, a good time to call it chat. Hopefully you've enjoyed your little look at the Death Watch game. It's, uh, it's pretty fun, honestly. Like I said, I think the uh, gameplay could do with a little bit of extra stuff. Uh, you know, like being able to see over certain bits of terrain and certain bits of cover. You know, things which are like obviously bunkers and things. You know, being able to see or shoot through them and not be shot or something like that. You know, something which would kind of make sense maybe. But uh, I think for a, for a mobile port, it's uh, it's a good old time. Honestly, I think it's pretty pretty fun, all things considered. So I shall be off then, chat, and I will see you uh, well probably in another two, three, four, five weeks. However long it takes for me to feel motivated enough to do this again, who knows? Maybe we'll go back to the Space Hulk. Oh, actually, speaking of uh, Space Hulk, next month I think it's on the ninth. 9th of October, I think, is when uh, Space Hulk Tactics comes out. Is it Space Hulk Tactics? I want to say Space Hulk Tactics. Uh, can I quickly check this without breaking everything? Probably not. Uh, which one is it? Yeah, it is Space Hulk Tactics. That's coming out on the 9th of October, and that should be pretty fun. It's basically... It's supposedly another version of the uh, tabletop game, but I get the feeling that it's going to be slightly more gamified like Ascension. So you never know, maybe in uh, October we would, we might uh, be playing that, because I do enjoy my Space Hulk games. They are a lot of fun. So, on that note, I will see you at some point, chat. Fare thee all well.